हेलो चिल्ड्रन हाउ आर यू ऑल आई होप यू आर हैप्पी एंड हेल्दी चिल्ड्रन एज यू ऑल नो वी आर लर्निंग वी आर रिवाइजिंग एक्टिव एंड पैसिव वॉइस येस्टडे वी हैव स्टार्टेड मॉडल ऑग्जिलरीज एंड वी हैव डिस्कस्ड फ्यू पॉइंट्स टूडे वी विल बी कंटिन्यूइंग द सेम टॉपिक एंड आफ्टर दैट वी विल डिस्कस हाउ टू कन्वर्ट इंटेरोगेटिव सेंटेंसेज इन एक्टिव टू पैसिव वॉइस चल चिल्ड्रन लेट स्टार्ट children as we have discussed how to write auxiliary modal auxiliaries in active to passive voice now here children you can see active voice the auxiliary plus root form of the verb we are writing in active voice but in passive voice we will convert the auxiliaries plus be plus past participle will be there and now i have given few example also that is we ought to pay our taxes on time our taxes ought to be paid on time now here children you can see after uh, this uh, ought to or jaldi we will put be okay and then past participle this is the rule of making modal auxiliaries active to passive voice and active voice and passive voice so children uh we will be continuing the same topic modal auxiliaries now in this we'll discuss how to write let if in active voice it is given let so how we will write in passive voice children so here you can see let let the word l let so how we can write in active voice let and in passive voice so children let's start if sentence beginning with sentence beginning with beginning with let so what we will do in active voice if it is written let him book the tickets let him book the tickets okay now this is active voice so how we will convert in passive voice in passive voice what we will write so here let will remain same we are going to retain the same let over here let the books the tickets the tickets because let we will retain it in the passive voice also similarly as the let is beginning sentences with let in active voice so same we will follow in this passive voice also let we will write again let and then we will convert in this object to subject subject to object let the tickets now we will write let the tickets be booked by the, him be booked by him children now here children you can see again we have used be because these are all comes in modal auxiliaries that is why we are using over here b now second sentence i'll give you one more uh example let us recollect let us recollect old memories old memories let us recollect old memories now here what we will write let will remain same let old memories old memories old memories be recollected be re collected now here children you can see what we have done we have only and only done let old memories be recollected okay children so similarly we will do many sentence if 
the sentence is starting with let so let let will be there as the same in the passive voice also and after that we just zigzag the sentence receiver become uh, or sorry doer become receiver receiver become doer now here let old memories be collected b will be used over here now now we are moving to the commands okay so if the sentence in active voice and it is written in command so how we will convert in okay so commands 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 children as you all know these are the orders and uh, this is the meaning of command now if in active voice it is written close the window close the window so what we will do here what we will change now children we will change only let let we will use in commands also let the window the window be closed okay now here children you can see you can see over here children close the window here it is command but now in passive voice how we can convert we just only use let the window be closed b we will use over here now i am giving you next example if in active voice it is written the garbage the garbage sorry throw the garbage in the dustbin in the dustbin throw the garbage in the dustbin now in passive voice what we will do okay throw the garbage in the dustbin so what we will do let we will use first let the garbage the garbage let the garbage be thrown be thrown in the dust bin okay children simple children only let we will use now let the garbage be thrown be thrown third form of the verb past participle as you all know be thrown in the dust bin simple just convert it and make more sentence on this commands okay so now children we will moving to next part that is transformation of interrogative sentences okay after model auxiliaries we are going to learn how to convert active to passive voice in interrogative sentence if the active voice is written in interrogative interrogative or, or or you can say questions so how we will convert so transformation transformation of interrogative sentence interrogative sentences into passive voice into passive voice so transformation of interrogative sentences into passive voice okay children now when interrogative sentences are changed into passive voice their interrogative form does not change this is the first rule 
when interrogative sentences are changing into passive form its the interrogation form does not change means i am writing over here the first example did you eat the apple now here you can see apples here you can see did you eat the apples here this is asked in the past tense because did is used over here so what is the rule of converting active to passive voice in uh, interrogative sentences only and only we will do auxiliary verbs because did is there that is why we will use what we will use according to the object we will convert into was or and were so here because apples are there so that is why we will use were the apples were the apples eaten by you eaten by you okay children question mark will be placed were because in place of did this is written in past tense that is why we are converting were why were because apples are there this is plural okay eaten past participle and here by and you we will use okay now we are moving to the next example second example that is have you washed the dishes have you washed the dishes now again question mark but the difference is only and only have is used over here that is why what we will do we will just change have will remain same have the dishes here we will use the same rule as we are doing in the present perfect tense so have the dishes dishes been washed been washed by you okay simple thing children you can see over here have the dishes been washed by you simple only and only what we have done have will be remain same present perfect tense we are following over here have the dishes been washed by you simple okay children now i'll give you one more example what we are going to write <clears throat> now here has and have we will use plus been okay now if the sentence is started with do does okay so does we will change into are according to the object according to the subject we will change are is am are if it is written does so we will convert into is am are if it it is written did so we have already convert in past tense so similarly we will do now if the sentence when the question begins when the questions begin begin begins with who what or which okay and is changed from the active to passive voice and is changed change from active to passive voice 
द क्वेश्चन वर्ड क्वेश्चन वर्ड द क्वेश्चन वर्ड इज रिटेन एंड अ प्रिपोजिशनल बाय इज यूज वर्ड इज रिटेन्ड एंड अ प्रिपोजिशन प्रिपोजिशनल प्रिपोजिशन प्रिपोजिशन usually by is used now children according to this rule if your sentence is started with who what and which so that time what we will do so it is it will remain same but before that we will use by okay preposition so i'll give you one example for that okay children now i'll give you one example who broke the cup who broke the cup here children you can see this is question and this question is started with who okay now here what we have learned who what or which and is changed from active to passive voice the question word is retained now here you can see question word is retained and preposition usually by is used okay question word will retain in uh, uh, direct and indirect what we have studied we had we studied because was if it is started with the auxiliary verb we will use in place of that if and whether and with the in place of did and do and uh, does we will use if and whether but if this question work is there words are there wh word so we are not going to change anything because the same word will be followed in the passive voice or in direct speech also same here similarly we are doing the same thing who broke the cup now what we will do by whom we will use by whom the cup by whom was the cup broken by whom the cup by whom was the cup broken okay now here next example this is active voice and this is passive voice okay children now if we are writing when did you complete your work when did you complete your work okay so in passive voice what we will write we will write when was the when was the work the work completed by you children okay when was the work completed by you so children here you can see the changes here we have used because it was started with who that is why by whom was the cup broken now when because of when then we will use when was the work completed by you children okay children so i hope this is clear we will discuss we will solve more exercises based on active and passive voice now children let's solve few exercise few active to passive voice in this form that we have learned so children let's start
we will learn to solve the exercises in this form if the sentence is started with wh words so here first is which house did they paint did they paint okay now here children you can see it is written which this is active voice so how we will change in passive voice children simple only and only because we have discussed that which will remain same we will retain this word in the passive voice also then what we will do which house which house which house was painted was painted by them children okay this clear now we are moving to second number second number active voice active voice is when did you eat breakfast when did you eat breakfast okay now what we will do here children in passive voice when will remain same so when was when was breakfast breakfast eaten by you children okay here you can see when was because did here so we will use because this is written in the past tense so that is why we we have used over here was breakfast eaten third form of the verb past participle we are using eaten by you now third number who throw who threw the ball who threw threw the ball at neeta question is there who threw the ball now what we have discussed children in place of because who will be remain same in the passive voice what what we are going to use before who by yes children so by we will write first in passive voice passive voice because we have to make this in passive so what we will write by whom by whom was the ball was the ball by whom was the ball thrown at neeta thrown at neeta okay by whom was the ball thrown at neeta now next active voice number 4 that is did you post the letter did you post the letter now again we have to revise the rule in place of did what we will do children we have discussed that because this is written in the past tense so in passive voice what we will do depends on the object so this is in singular so that is why what we will use was the letter was the letter was the letter posted posted by you was the letter posted by you now children here you can see 
was the letter posted by you now again we are moving to the number 5 what is number 5 does he like movies now here children you can see does he like movies again question mark what we will do in the passive voice simple children does is there that is why we have to use um r is m r r the movies r the movies or r movies liked by him liked by him okay simple because does is written over there that is why we have used over here r it's depend on the object so what is the object what object is a plural that is why are the movies liked by him now children we will solve few more few more exercise we will solve because this is very necessary for us to solve to practice exercise by different different rule because in grammar you can see direct indirect was having different rule and active and passive voice having different rule so we have to practice on that so children now we are moving to next example that is did did preeti did preeti take all the books take all the books now here children you can see in passive voice what we will do did is there that is why all the books now here you can see subject verb agreement now it will become over here subject so what we will do were were the books were the books taken okay were the books taken by kirat were all the books you can write all the books taken by preeti question mark were all the books taken by preeti now next example does he recites poem does he recites poem does he recite poem poems okay does he recite poem now because here you can see poem in the plural form and here you can see does it, it is written over here so what we will do we will just change because poems are there that is why are are the poems are the poems recited by him see children are the poems recited by him does become are because of the object object is plural so here we are using the same rule subject verb agreement that is why we have change over here are the poems recited by him now next what we will do who composed this song active voice who composed this song okay children here you can see who is in this active voice so what we will do children we just add by in front of who we will write by whom passive voice what we will do by whom 
by whom this song this song was composed okay who composed this song because this sentence is written in you can see this is written in past tense composed is there okay that is why we have to write was okay by whom this song was composed okay third form we are using past participle see simple children if we are revising these type of the rules we have to practice otherwise all rules will be forgotten and at the end of the day we cannot do the exercises and the solution properly so this is very very important whenever you are practicing or revising any rule you have to solve few exercises now here children who composed this song now again because who is used over here that is why we have used over here by by whom this song was composed okay children so today we have practice and we have already discussed all the topics of active to passive voice children so we just uh, concluding this video and uh, my request is to please uh, go through the your grammar book and revise it because all topics are important and as you all know we revising in the online classes as well as in the video classes also so this is very important because your examination is near to you annual examination so please children do practice and attend the class regularly okay children we will meet again till then bye bye and take care